Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to be adding in a, I guess, a honey drink shop, potion shop, not a coffee shop. And it serves kind of honey and other drinks. So it's going to go right here. So notice we got like our taco stand or fish stand or coffee stand, but we don't have like a non-coffee, non-alcoholic drink stand. So I thought this would be a good place for it. This. I think this would make a good, I can put a couple chairs here and maybe a couple chairs on the inside. And we'll just divide it like right here. So this will be where they make the coffee and stuff. I can have a little takeout window here and then other, the uh, on this side will be seating and stuff. We'll just put a door like right here so people can come in here they can order sit or if they're on this side they can come through here and order and sit or order order and take your food out let's try going with a yellow theme actually let me put the floor in first because i'll be falling through the floor if i don't I don't know why I'm going with the gray. It doesn't really complement the yellow. It almost kind of argues with it, but I thought maybe a, just a plain gray floor would be okay. And I'm out of andesite. Oh no, I'm using my, my cobble making pick. We'll go up here, andesite should be here, no, here. I didn't even label it and I still remembered where it was. There. Then we can get back to the walls. So for the walls, I've got some end stone. And I really don't want to. Oops, don't want to do that. So I've got these yellow in the corner. I'm kind of mix the end stone in with this birch log. Put that there. I'm not sure how this is going to look. Although, this corner here is going to need to be yellow terracotta, and this one will be yellow terracotta. Let me get my axe. 
So that would be a window. be a window there um, through here let's put So that is how I'm picturing it. Yeah, and just look at that wall. That wall doesn't look too bad. I just need to figure out what to do with this side over here. And I think it looks better, more solid than with the windows in it. So I may reduce the number of windows and see what I can do with that. So let me work on that for a little bit. And then we can start on the interior. Yeah, that makes a good countertop though. So that is the finished product. Not too bad, those kind of go together. Looking to get away from just the plain old flat one, you know, one block style. I think that works out. So for the roof, I'm just going to go with um, a normal peaked roof. So let's put that on. It shouldn't take too long. Put that there. We'll just alternate. We're going to go stair slab, stair slab, stair slab, all the way across. I think do like that. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? So there is our honey shop. We'll put a door here. So this is where we make all the, we make and sell the honey. Let's put a lectern. We put a lectern there. This is kind of like the cash registers and it can serve both sides. We'll put, oops, there we go. 
plank on either side there. And then I think, did I? Oh, I put all my wood away. Well, that wasn't very smart. Um, here we go. Well, while I'm outside, let's put in, I'm gonna put like a window across. So that would be where you pick up your honey and I'm gonna just put, um, the the uh, honey jar give it a nice little name and actually I can color that so I've got three on either side so let's grab some of these and do I have any ah cool I've got lots of glow ink and I'll do this on the opposite side of the building too. So I'll, we'll look at that when I get over there. There, the honey jar. So this will be a side where you can just walk up, order your honey, and pick it up and leave. And then this side, you can do the same thing, but there'll be chairs and stuff over here. Like I said, we're in here. Let's get a crafting bench so we'll put the crafting bench over here make some more of these slabs like that and then I've got Some brewing stands which is not really um, you don't really do any honeying in them but they look nice they look like they're doing something and I got a couple beehives I thought would work good like here and then we can put couple more brewing stands on there and then maybe we could put like a honey jar there maybe one on the counter here one on this counter. Like that. And I'll even put one there. And I've got three brewing stands left. Like that. Much well, since I've got these here. There. So I think that takes care of behind the scenes, the more the store part. That there, and I'm going to put windows in this whole thing here. Actually, I want to pick this one up. Do that. That way you don't see the rings. And then we have our door there. Oops, nope. 
I'm actually at doors in the wrong spot, isn't it? that out of there. Oops, I need one more block. Oh yeah, there we go. And I'll do the same thing over here with the sign. So we're going to put the honey jar here. And we'll light that up the same way. So I put in the seating. So we've got tables and chairs out here. Added in flowers because I was going to put, I had a beehive, so I put the beehive in here. And it just happened to have bees in it. So I've got two bees. Sometimes you can hear them. And there's some honeycombs in here. So I put some flowers so the bees will flirt around here and get the flowers. Which kind of gives it a good uh, honey shop feel. So this kind of what you'd expect in a honey shop is bees. I think that is the final touches, or the finishing touches on, on my honey shop. Not bad. I could put a beehive or a bee's nest up there. That might help. I actually do have one of those, don't I? And then I can uh, feed a few flowers to the bees on the inside, then we have four or five bees flying around here. That might work like that. Yeah, so next time the bees are out, I will uh, feed them or breed them so we get some baby bees so they can uh, go in there too. So they have a couple places to go. I do want to leave this open because I saw them going in and out, so that might, might help if they can go in and out. But that finishes it up for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, come back and catch the next episode. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.